Well, we're learning more information tonight about two fights that happened earlier this week at Niagara Falls High School, leaving two teachers severely injured after attempting to break up the altercations. News 4's Dylan Morello joins us now with what Niagara Falls police have to say. Dylan. Marley, the Niagara Falls police and mayor today confirmed it was two female teachers who were injured. They added that the teachers are in conversations to press charges. The sentiment that enough is enough when it comes to fights at the high school. It is unfortunate that there are some students that um, um, don't uh, really focus on the educational environment. According to police, there were two separate fights this week at Niagara Falls High School. In the first instance, a handful of boys were arguing in a bathroom stall. A teacher went inside and hit her head against the wall when trying to break up the fight. A day later, a separate incident occurred between a boy and a girl in the cafeteria. Another teacher stepped in and a stray elbow caught her in the head. She suffered a concussion, orbital bone fracture, and a cut the required stitches. At this point, the school resource officers as well as the um, head of security and the schools are all investigating this. The entire uh, case is, being, is still under investigation. Um, there's been no determination on charges. and There's conversations with the two teachers on how they want to proceed. Niagara Falls School Superintendent Mark Laurie, along with a school teacher who wished to remain anonymous, both say it isn't the staff's job to police this type of behavior. It has become a problem. Not just with our district, I heard with other districts as well. And a lot of times our hands are tied. I mean, there's only so much we can do. I would never put this on the back of a teacher. I appreciate them you know, coming to the aid of students as quickly as they can. Lori encourages teachers to call for assistance during these types of situations. But for a teacher, it's hard not to step in. It does become a natural instinct because you see these children fighting and you look at their faces and the aggression. You end up getting involved in there because serious, more serious injuries can occur, but now it's teachers getting seriously injured. To resort to violence that quickly is very unfortunate, very unacceptable, but uh, will be dealt with very swiftly. Now, Superintendent Lori says there will be a superintendent hearing in the coming days where the students can share their side of the story and it will take time and he will make a final decision as to when they can return to the classroom. Reporting in the studio, Dylan Morello, News 4. Thank you, Dylan.